Hi guys! Are you in for another fun learning today? Perfect! As you all know, Riza is my name. Science Adventure is my game. What are you waiting for? Let's go! Uh-oh! Girls, did you feel the shaking? Yes! It's an earthquake! Thank God it eventually stopped! Hmm, now I'm wondering how earthquakes occur. There's a science discovery show this afternoon about earthquakes that will surely feed your curiosity. But now, I think it's safer for us to go home now. You're right! Come on girls, let's go home! Good thing the show is just about to start! Earth's surface is like a jigsaw puzzle with approximately 20 pieces that are constantly moving. These puzzle-like pieces are called tectonic plates. When these plates move, heat or slide past each other, it causes an earthquake. Faults are rock fractures where a block of rock moves with respect to another caused by forces. The rock surface along which fault movement takes place is called the fault plane. But where does an earthquake originate? The area where an earthquake originates is called focus or hypocenter. From here, the earthquake vibrations or seismic waves travel outward up to the Earth's surface, which is referred to as the epicenter. Even though tectonic plates move constantly, most of the time, their movements are too small to reach us. However, there are times that their movements are so strong that earthquakes can felt over a thousand miles away. Trivia time! Intensity refers to the effects and damage caused by an earthquake. It is determined by actual observation or on-site inspection of the affected areas, including interviews with the people. On the other hand, magnitude is a measure of the energy released by the earthquake measured by an instrument called seismograph. The seismograph records the shaking of the ground as wavy lines on paper. The Philippines is situated in the western fringes of the Circumpacific Belt or the Ring of Fire, so it experiences frequent seismic and volcanic activities. There are chances that a powerful earthquake may happen anytime, so everyone must be prepared and ready for those occurrences. How to be prepared for earthquakes? That will be the next topic of our show, so tune in for the next episode. Whoa! That's a lot to remember! Do you now understand how earthquakes form? Great! I hope you have enjoyed and gained new learnings as much as I have. See you in our next science adventure! <laughs>